To begin the process of installing the network automation engine, the first step is to gain access to the configurations inside the con controller. The way we do this is connecting a serial cable to the device and then connecting it to our laptop and using hyperterminal uh, in this instance we're able to get the device to tell us what the IP address as well as the current name in the device is. We simply plug a, uh, like once again, just a uh, standard cable into the uh, device, uh, serial cable, and then we connect it to our computer. And once it's powered up, it'll literally just spit out all the information that we need to access the device. And as you can see here, I take the name that is currently in the device, open the launcher tool, place that name exactly as it appears in uh, HyperTerminal into the uh, launcher tool. And when I do a discover, you can see that it found, it, uh, found the device. I simply save that. I go back, double click it, and then it will open the uh, screen to where I can log into the device. This particular device is being repurposed. It was originally in another building and had uh, an N2 trunk on it. The new trunk is going to be a uh, FC trunk, field bus trunk, uh, basically a backnet communication. So the first step then is once you gain access is simply to delete the N2 trunk from that device. Also, you may want to clean out any kind of additional programming or anything that you have in that system. And then once uh, you get that done, simply go up to the insert integration, select the type of trunk you wish to put in. In this case, it's going to be a field bus for this particular controller. Uh, it's going to ask me in the screen if this is where I want to put it, which of course that is where I want to put it. And I can also name the uh, trunk a very unique name. I can do all that from this screen. Once I have the name and everything entered for this device, I'm simply going to hit next and it will bring up a, another configuration screen which in this one there's not anything that I need to change so I'm just going to hit next again and on the final uh, summary screen I'm simply going to hit finish. It will then add the trunk into the uh, device. I could set up trends or totalizations, but that's not really useful for what we're doing at this particular time. Underneath this trunk is where we will add all of our devices. And here is the panel that uh, this particular NAE is going to be installed in. We have all of these uh, FEC controllers as well as the IOMs. We have network access as well as power and everything that we need right in here. Now we have the NAE installed. We have connected our FC trunk. We have connected our NAE to the main network. And what we are doing now is waiting for the NAE to come online with the system. After a period of time, the new NAE has come online with the system we can see it highlighted here. If you are installing a new device inside the network tab of the device when you initially uh, begin the setup, you will need to tell it where it can find its server. If you do not tell the NAE or NCE the address of the server, it will not be able to populate within the network. Currently under the FC trunk, even though I've made my connections, I do not have any devices showing. The way we add devices are to go up to the insert tab. We're going to insert a field device of course it is going to be under this trunk so what we're going to do is click next 
we want to invoke auto discovery that way it will go out and look for all of the devices on this particular trunk and you can see very quickly it is finding those devices and starting to populate the uh, screen so we'll just let that run and then we'll come back we have here it has located the RTU the rooftop unit we're just going to leave that label we're going to select next we're going to just look quick look at the review screen we can uh, change the object category we can enable or disable here but I'm not sure why you would do that if you're going through the trouble putting one of these online so we're going to hit next this is our final review screen we're going to hit finish at this point we can add trans totalizations alarms but or resource file to this particular device but we're not going to do any of that now now then it automatically brings us to the uh, screen to where we can add our field points we do want to go ahead and do that so here I'm simply going to select new I'm going to hit the invoke auto discover once again it's going to go out to the controller it's going to find all of the points on that controller and then it will give us the option of uh, pulling in the ones that we actually want to add to the system okay the system has finished scanning so I'm simply going to hit the close tab here and here are all of the points that it found while doing its scan I could select the map all feature I uh, do not recommend doing that it, each of these points uh, does take up some space in your system I wouldn't suggest that you go through and only bring in the ones that are most relevant to your application and uh, you can uh, add more of those later if you don't get everything pulled in that you feel should be brought in during this initial setup you can go back and add additional points later on simply highlight the bubble out beside the point that you wish to pull in double click it you will see the green check that means that that point will be mapped into the system once you have selected all of the points you wish to pull into the system simply hit next you will have a review screen where you will be able to review the points that you're pulling in once you have decided that those are the points you want to bring into the system click finish it will take a couple of minutes for everything to populate and if we go back over here to the FC trunk you can see that we have the uh, rooftop unit here when I double click into it it may take it a couple of minutes I pulled it in a little faster than I thought but here are the points that we've pulled into the system from here you can view modify the points however you need you can uh, uh, modify the user view of your system uh, and you should have control of your uh, particular device from Metasys extended architecture at this point <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,